Greetings, welcome to this tutorial on how to pull data and whatnot off of your Google Drive. So here I'm into my Google Drive and uh, one thing I'm going to take a look at is uh, all these folders that I've got in here. I've got a bunch of files in here as well. So let's say you've got a student that's moving on um, from you know senior year or they're moving on out of the system for whatever reason out of state. Um, one thing you could do is let's create a new folder. Uh, let's go into my drive, new folder. And we'll call this the uh, the moving folder. We're moving on. So I'm gonna highlight all these files that are in here. I got a ton of files in here. Very unorganized. I need to spend some time on that. And so we're gonna right mouse click on these. And we're gonna oops move to. There we go. And very simply, I'm gonna click on moving move. You could do the same thing with folders as well. You can move these folders within folders. And so if I wanted to put this folder within the moving folder, I certainly could. And move. So now I've got this folder right here, and I want to download that to your device. So I'm going to click on download. And it's going to prepare a zip file. Depending upon how much files are in there, it's going to be uh, some time for it to package that up and get it ready to go. Uh, it zips it, it creates a zip file, a compressed file, so it's easier to download. And when you if, uh, download ready, okay, so it's downloading right now. And it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show in folder. Now this is on a PC, of course. If the student was doing this from their Chromebook, it's not going to be a whole lot different. They're going to be able to see that uh, that folder uh, in their folder file structure thingy. And they'll basically take that folder and they'll drag it to, most likely a jump drive would work the best uh, for them. So if there's any further questions on that, make sure you get a hold of me. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.